Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ned, welcome back to another episode of the Discord.js coding tutorial series. Today we're going to be doing, um, we're going to be setting up utilities. So, say, all these permission checks, um, well not for this one specifically, but for the ones, like the message author. Um, we're going to return the same thing every time. So for someone like that, we want to set up utilities and or, or rather a function that will just run that and automatically, um, make it a little easier. That way we can have nice looking embeds, uh, with a small amount of code. So let's go ahead and get that all set up. Um, as you'll notice, I am using VS code now I've switched over. If you want to see a setup tutorial for that, there's not much to it. You can literally download, install it and start coding right away. Um, but if you want to see how I set everything up, go ahead and hit that like button. If we get 50 likes on this video, I'll go ahead and do that. But yeah, so let's go ahead and go ahead and make the folder. So I'm going to go to tutorial. Oops. All right, I'll just right click new folder and we'll call this utils for utilities. And inside of here, we're going to create a new file and this is going to be a JavaScript file. It's going to be, we're just going to call this errors.js. All right, so inside of here, you're gonna need a couple of the same things you have in here. Um, we'll get Discord JS. Let's do fs equal require fs. We'll get that one. Uh, what else do we need? We'll probably need the con config. Um, so yeah, just to get those colors. So let's go ahead and do uh, let config equal require. Uh, dot slash bot config dot json yeah so now that we have this set up let's go ahead and close this guy and let's add this to ban we'll just do this one so we're going to uh, let's go ahead and just change this to what we want it to be so at the top we're going to have to require the file so const errors equals require dot utils slash or utils slash errors dot js and that might actually need to I can't remember yeah so from there we're gonna go ahead and do errors dot whoop that wasn't what I wanted to do errors dot no perms and then we're going to put parentheses and we're going to pass a couple things to this. So we want to pass message and we could do message channel, or we could just do message. That way we make sure we have everything and we're going to need a string and it's going to be manage members. So that string will, I'll show you how to use this in a second. Um, here we're just putting the object message and the string manage members. That's how we're going to set it up. So if we go to errors, we can do module dot exports dot, uh, or no perms. What is that what we called it equals, and then we could do message perm. And then we have our function. Is that what we did? No perms. Yep. Oops. All right, so we want to go ahead and set up a embed. This is all that's going to be. It's just going to be an embed. So let embed equal new discord dot rich embed. Then we're going to do set author. We'll just do message. Since we pass message through here, we can use that. So message dot author dot username. We'll just do that. And then we'll do set title, no perms, add field. And in here we want to do insufficient permission. And then we'll do perm. And that perm is going to be whatever that string is. So it's going to be manage members is what it's going to output. So. 
let's go ahead and do message dot channel dot send and then we'll do say we'll do oh my gosh embed and then m arrow function and dot delete five thousand yeah we should be good so let's go to make sure um there won't be a way to test this actually let's just go ahead and check if they have it so if they have it it'll return the error so let's go ahead and do now node index.js nope maybe we need to put another dot there try it one more time there we go so we go to the server and i'm actually on the source code sorry about that and if we do ban no perms and we forgot to set a color so let's go ahead and do that and you can see it goes away there we go uh, so errors and then we'll go to set set color and then we'll do bot or config dot red go ahead and try that again exclamation point ban no perms insufficient permission manage members is what you need and there we go. Actually, this has actually been deprecated since the last time we've used this. Just so you guys know, we I see a lot of people come through on the T or the source code server and ask why that's not working. So just so you guys know, there will be a link for all the new permission flags down below. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this tutorial. Hopefully, you can use that to your advantage. Um, that way, if you want to send the same embed every time they don't have permission. You can go ahead and require that and do that that way. So that makes it a little bit easier for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and leave that like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.